So I'm doing Thor's Cave Circular today. So I'm parked in Wetton now. So I've got public toilets behind me, really easy car park to find this one. I'm heading to Thor's Cave, then across the Beeston Tour, the campsite, the disused, abandoned campsite is it? Um, it might still be used, it just looks a bit funky. Um, and then just back up the hill. So I'm hoping it's about five miles because it's half past four now. I've bought no head torch, um, no supplies really. So hopefully I don't get caught out in the dark, but I think I'll be all right. So stick with me. Okay, this. Oh, down here. So yeah, once you get here, you've got a very clear footpath. Thor's Cave is just in there, so just follow it, follow the footpath wherever it sends you, and then we'll be there. So much to explore here. This is coming. I'm stuck between a rock. <laughs> There's just something about caves. Time, I would definitely recommend doing this full route rather than just those cave and back because it's just really pretty. Like now you're through a woodland look and then you get onto the manifold trail which is really easy walking. If we get some rain we'll have um, a flowing river, not really deep enough to dip in but so there is another path that goes up there but just keep heading down just keep going down and you'll get to a bridge across the Manifold River. Have you ever tried one of these? Slowberry. Hmm. I've not even got to drink me, otherwise that would. But they just dry your mouth out instantly. It's mad. Grab one. So that bridge that we just passed there, if you want to cut out the caravan park, you can go over there and just follow it up and then you'll see in a minute where we'll actually link up. But for the sake of a mile, mile and a half, I would def definitely recommend coming this way. Still not seen anyone. So you get to here, you've got big warnings. No through road, warning. Just a little bit further up. 
private property. I don't even know what it's at. No camping. She's feeling a little bit serious now. See, I think you'll feel it. I think you'll feel it when you come here. Just feels a bit like push on edge a bit. So shock. I've gone the wrong on the wrong path. I need to be on this path, not this one. So I want to climb over. down there uh, when there is water in here there are actually stepping stones across but obviously I didn't need it for today it just brings it up here called Beeston Tour so the other day my brother was watching a video of mine. He's like, Shy, you're always out of breath. Why don't you just stop before you start filming? Get your breath back. I'm like, because mate, I'm real. And that is a whopper, you know, it don't even look it. But it is. So from the gate, just head up slightly to the right. And now we go up for about, or oh, at least 25 miles. That's what it feels like. About a quarter of one. So when I said about going over that little bridge, I'm just following it. I believe, I'm not exactly sure I've done it, but I believe this is the road it brings you out on. Off. Doesn't surprise me at all, but I've got my friends in here. Obviously, all their friends will be at the top of the hill waiting for me as well. Let's just hope they're nice. Look at this view. So now we just follow this road all the way and it'll take you straight back to your car. 